fundamentals of the defense apply no matter what. And in fact, warfare hasn't changed uh, since the first person clubbed somebody over the head with a bone. Um, and this is one of the fundamental aspects of it. Major Barry may have been talking about a time long past, but the importance in those fundamentals is seen nowadays as the Marine Corps shifts its focus from counterinsurgency to conventional force on force warfare. Marines from 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marine Regiment out of Marine Corps Base Hawaii exemplify that shift in tactics by performing a company level defense in the ranges surrounding Yuma, Arizona. Uh, the attack, the defense, and patrolling are fundamental aspects of the infantryman, and uh, this is an important part, if not mo one of the most important parts of combat. Ensuring the Marines are ready for any situation, like the repelling of an advantaged enemy force, the company took a strategic step back and set up their secondary defense to gain the upper hand. It was a combination of not just ground troops, but light vehicles and aircraft working together to make this happen. Major Barry believes this simple approach has been viable in the Marine Corps' path to success in conflict. Defense is a, is a, defensive operations are critical uh, in warfare. In fact, some of the, the greatest military battles uh, have been defensive operations, to include our own history, like Guadalcanal, Quezon, or just a few examples. Through those moments in the Corps' history, the importance of defensive operations was realized once again, in turn passing down valuable lessons that today's Marine Corps has learned from and is currently implementing, teaching that sometimes the best offense is a great defense. Corporal Zachary Scanlon, Marine Corps Air Station, Yuma.